Good morning, girls and guys. We are at Bloemendal today. Episode 3 of the Weekend Warrior series. Uh, today we are going to take you guys up to the top of Upper Bloemendal. Um, a lot of people, when you say Bloemendal, they just focus on, um, on, on the lower part, which is where the clubhouse is, uh, Biosport Giants and all of those places that we're riding past now. Um, but we're going to take it to the upper section. So we know the Weekend Warriors series generally focuses on blue trails. Uh, we're going to take you up to the Blumendaler, which as far as I know is a blue trail. The climb up to the top is quite a bit. Um, I'm trying to uh, figure out the most politically correct way to say it. Um, but again, you have a tool that's going to get you up there and that's not your bike, it's your legs. <laughs> so if you get to a point where you feel that your legs are tired, either get off, have a rest or just take a walk. Um, you also got to remember that this climb brings you out to one of the best views of Cape Town and one of the best trails in Cape Town. So you stuck with me and my voice uh, for a little while. Um, I'm going to point out exactly where your options are and where they take you. And slowly but surely we're going to piece together this Tigerberg network. First thing we need to get across the road. Okay, we're good to go. So first things first, this arrow, we need to go left. Um, you'll see the red arrows on the boards. And today there's two options that takes you up to the Blumendale. Um, it is, there's a shorter option, but it's really steep. We're going to be doing the longer, more scenic route today. So we're going to be going via Hillcrest. Um, and this opens up a whole bunch of options. Um, it opens up the Hillcrest trails. It links you to Quantumans. Um, I'm not sure. I think there's one or two of these corridors that you oh, actually know there's no corridors. So you can just snap scan at the top on the boards if you want to drop into Quantumans. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we're just going to go all the way around and, uh, and show you the good stuff. Morning. This is one of my favorite rides. Um, it used to be great on a me bike as well. It got me most of my fitness. Um, so like, yeah, like I was saying today, we're going to do the Blumendale. We're going to show you what the climb up to the Blumendale is all about. Because a lot of people say, how do we get there? This is how you get there. And then after the Blumendale, we're going to bring you guys down through the little forest section called Blue Gums. I haven't been there in forever. So it's going to be a little exploration this morning. And see how it goes. Uh, massive shout out and a thank you to those that have been watching the series so far. We've had a massive uptake uh, on new riders who have gone out and tried some new trails. And it's been fantastic the feedback that we're getting. Um, this is obviously pitched at a very different kind of rider. Uh, this is not for those guys who are doing jumps and drops and pallets and this is for the weekend warriors going to go out and try something new and we're so glad so many of you guys are trying something new so up ahead we've got a split we're going to go left the shortcut and if you just want to do blue gums you can go right so up we go Oh, after the last episode where I got stung at Book Carl, these bee boxes make me a little bit nervous. But fortunately, it's 
It's not as hot today, so I don't think they're as agitated. What a view this morning. People are out taking some photos. It's a cracker morning. Okay, so right now we're just following the signs. We're still looking out for those red and white boards. And they'll lead you and keep you on the track. So this is a nice option if you want to do Blumendal lower um, and then you just want that little bit more. I do this first and then go down and maybe just go do the flow trail of Lombards once and it's going to be a great ride. Um, there are loads of places here to recover the legs. There are one or two steep climbs and I'll show those to you. One of those are coming up in a little bit. Um, but we take it as it comes. And like I said, do it at your pace. And get out there and try it and go see and do something new. This Blumendaler track is worth every bit of the climb that we're going to do to get there. And we're going to be, you're going to be surprised with some of the best views in Cape Town. Okay, so up ahead we're going to take a right. Uh, we're following the Jeep track, so uh, there's no, no options just yet. Still following those red and white boards. But this is a little bit of a steeper climb here. So before we turn right, just get your bike into the right gear. Uh, get into a nice easy gear and just get a get a little bit of momentum find a nice cadence that works for you and we're gonna pedal it up We go. There we go. And as we get to the gate, we'll see we're gonna go through. Now we are in Hillcrest. There used to be a lock on here and the code was on your membership board, but they've changed the way they have locked these gates because people being people broke the locks. Okay, onwards and upwards. Okay, so from here, the climb does get a bit interesting. But like I said, there are places where you can recover the legs. The views just get better and better as we go along. So to our left, we've got Hillcrest, the actual farm and the quarry so peaceful this morning there's not a breath of wind again just up ahead we are following the red and white boards so we're just going straight up and you'll see the single track uh, cut out into the ground So 
so on the me bike again you just want to get into comfortable gear and then about five meters in front here you get to your first crest and then time for the legs to recover okay and make sure you get the legs to recover now because there's another steepest chute in front again not a long one just a steep one so on this roll down getting the breath back oh man what a morning okay so now we're gonna go back and like I always say things work in threes so three of these bumps okay there's one two and then the last one three and then we turn left well done by this time you're probably going to want to take a break here get your breath back well, the climb's not over but once you get here it gets a hell of a lot better okay As we come around this corner it's going to turn quite steep to your right so just watch out for that one just take it nice and wide and you're good to go and then there's another tricky little switch back ahead that kind of cuts back on itself so take it wide pedal through it and if you don't make that one guys don't stress it took me so long because your legs are tired it's an uphill switchback it's quite tight so it takes a little bit of practice so walk it ride it no one's going to judge you as long as we get up and see that beautiful view oh you guys are in for something when we get to the top Up ahead is the Hillcrest Trails. We'll be doing another Weekend Warrior series on those trails. Very underrated, very beautiful. Okay, on to the next little punchy climb. So you'll see Hillcrest to get to the moss. It's filled with a bunch of climbs, shortish but steep. Um, and then once you get to the top of it like this uh, it levels out again so they make you work and then they let you recover grateful fitness and now recovery time at the end of this uh, little single track we're on now we're going to take a sharp right that I'll let you guys know and then just make sure you are in the right gear um, because you're going to go straight into a climb it's not as steep but it is consistent so once you at the top of that one we're going to do another little rest and then we've got two more climbs to go and we're at the top of the mast so we're going to break these down bit by bit the only piece of advice I can give you other than take your time is don't do this on a hot day come like this time of the morning like 6.30 ish where it's nice and cool you still have some shade it gets really hot out here so yeah 
that's a little bit of an advice cool so up in front here we're going to take a right so i'm already getting it into an easier gear it's quite sharp uh, you can go left there and do the hillcrest green loop uh, but we are in it for the for the views and the blumendaler so we're going up so again this this one was one for the books for me uh, the day that i finally made this climb without stopping was a good day so take it take it easy put it in an easier gear this is all about just finding a cadence that's comfortable and pedaling it out and enjoying the views the table mountain just popping out a bit more the higher we go sun starting to come through the vineyards now and we keep climbing oh that's the other thing i wanted to ask if anyone's still listening at this point um please let us know if you want some music as a background now, some people like it some people don't uh, we've left it out of this series so you stuck with my voice but if you're over my voice and you want some music please let us know we can put it in between me saying stupid things and um, keep you guys entertained i think at the end of the day uh, the longer you watch and the more you get to know the more chance there is of you coming out here cool so in front is a gate that will take you to the 360 cafe um, we're not going to take that gate uh, we're going to go left and we're going to go up so this is another one of those climbs like we just did now we're going to find a gear that is decent and we're gonna pedal it out they've cleaned this up really nicely it used to be really rocky and technical it's a quite a smooth single track climb now It's a climb of two halves so this is the first half done now which is quite chilled uh, with a bit of a rest at the bottom you can do this first half quite easily the second half starting now it gets quite a bit steeper so I would suggest splitting this in two but I promise you the day that you do this all in one you're gonna feel absolutely fantastic and there's a club bench on the top that you can grab a seat and enjoy the view take a time out and the last little punchy bit And there we go we have one more climb and we are at the mast oh wow what a view here's our bench i'm going to just insert a little video here and show you guys what the view looks like Okay, views out the way, onwards and upwards. Up ahead, we're gonna have a split in the trail. Um, we will link above the Roycat 
Roy Cut descent, which is where you go if you go left here. We're going up to the mast. That option to go left there is fantastic. Um, like we were saying, it's such an underrated trail. And not a lot of people come out here and do Hillcrest. A lot of people actually forget about it. So we've linked it up above. Uh, if you just want to skip back in the video to the split, you'll see the link. Have it, have a look, and I guarantee you, you're going to enjoy it. Um, Patrick, them have rebuilt that entire trail. It is beautiful and manicured. And the berms are fantastic and just loads of fun guys we're almost there okay as we go through the fence we are presented with two options in front we have a board that says Kontemans Kloof I'm sure you guys know oh just wait take a moment How's that view? Um, the climb up from the mast on Conti's side is crazy. So this is a little bit of an easier climb and then you can drop down into Contamans. Um, don't forget to snap scan at the top if you're not a member. And then this in ahead of us is the final climb to the top of the Talcom mast that you can see from pretty much anywhere in Cape Town. And just on the other side of that, we drop down to the Blumendale. The board is in front of us. So let's get to the top so we can show you guys the view and you can see the climb. So this climb, if you're on e-bike, you can go straight up. Um, I'm going to do the full climb like you would on a me bike. Uh, first section is a little bit steep. And then after that, it just meanders up. It's gonna take some work though, don't get me wrong, but it is oh so worth it. And there we go. Okay, so that first section out the way, and then we're gonna meander our way up. There we go. We at the top. Oh man. What a view. What a view. So in front we've got a view of Blumendal. To the right of your table mountain. Ah. Oh, what a crack of view. Okay, we're at the top, we're at the mast. Well done on achieving that. That's no easy feat, but you stuck it out and we got there. So as we go through the gate, we're gonna hook a left. I'm gonna follow the Jeep track down. Your climbing is done. Done, done. There's a beautiful lookout right here. Feel free to have a seat, catch your breath, enjoy the views of Table Mountain. And there's the sign, the Blumendaler. The actual descent does not start here. Uh, this is just a bit of a single track. Uh, the descent starts a little bit ahead.
at the end of the single track you'll be presented with some steps some guys ride it some guys don't I just want to show you guys where it is it's right here and you can see they've actually filled in some rocks at the end okay we are here so this is where Melissa and I generally take a break fantastic view of Table Mountain up ahead now I'm gonna adjust the camera smidge and we can head on down this is gonna be four to five minutes of the ride of your life so let's go enjoy it okay in we go it's the end of oh end of beginning of summer uh, trails are in fantastic condition a bit rutted here and there nothing too crazy through the forest we go guys this trail can be ridden really fast or really slow uh, either way it's completely enjoyable this first berm just take it nice and wide you can roll around it again the series is focused on the weekend warrior those going out and doing blue trails you should be able to do those berms if you can't not a problem um, you can definitely get off walk them I did when I started this so no harm in that just make sure that when you walk them that you make sure there's no riders behind you these doubles oh man I, I still struggle with them I can't clear them but that's uh, one day when I'm big go okay and we're coming up to your next corner again just ride it nice and wide This is just trail goodness right here and now you guys see why we did that climb because you are rewarded with this okay another berm ride it nice and wide a little bit of a braking bump at the end but just roll through it you'll be fine now this trail gets really fast so just keep your fingers over your brakes and if you don't want to go fast make sure you manage your speed okay Let's go have some fun. Oh. Yo, what a job. That's amazing. Yay! As we work our way around the front, Patrick them have done some magic work on these berms, as you can see. Ah, oh, fantastic! Just ahead, uh, there is a drop 
you can ride around it we'll show you so you can ride over this instead of going over it it's a tiny little drop and you can definitely if you find you want to do it it's nothing crazy the bigger drops at Rumund are lower but we just want this trail to be accessible for everyone so that's how you would do it okay up ahead we presented with another split if you go straight you do a shortcut climb back to the top of your crest we're gonna go left through the trees and we're gonna go to blue gums okay That was loads of fun. That trail never disappoints. Okay. Guys, that's a good example of what we should be doing on a trail, is looking up so that you can see the riders coming down in front of you. Um, stick to your side of the Jeep track. We're all here to play nicely together. Okay, follow the arrows. And there we go. The Blumendala. Now we're rolling across and we're going to do blue gums. The blue gums is on our left, and the way you enter it is over this little wooden bridge. So we're going to drop over this way. Okay, and in we go. I haven't been here for ages. A little bit of a roll. brings back memories when I first started riding a bike we used to come ride here and I haven't been here in forever I remember being a little bit piddly on this section but still fun. Great cross country track. Some punchy little bits, some technical bits. Still loads of fun. A little bit of a drop up ahead, can be rolled. And down we go. It's quite tight.
I still love this section. Oh, almost became one with the trees, eh? It's still quite fast and tight. Okay, so as you start climbing up now, there are going to be one or two steps uh, that you can go up or around. Just make sure you keep your momentum. There we go. And that, my friends, is the blue gums. Please close the gate behind you. Now we want to make sure that we follow all the trail rules. So out we go. Okay, let's pop that down for a second. Okay, we're all locked. So we're gonna go straight across and back down to Blumendal Lower. And that's it. A tour of Upper Blumendal. We hope you guys enjoyed. Um, give us a shout out. If there's any specific trail network that you want us to do this for you, I think the next one we're gonna do is Hillcrest and Blumendal Lower and then you'll be able to navigate most of the Tiger Book Trail Network and come out and piece them all together and have some fun. So as you can see ahead we're coming down where we did the split earlier and now back down to Blumendal. This is fun, it's low. You can't get loads of speed down here. And that's it guys. Thank you for joining. Uh, we're going to head back home. Going to spend some time with Charlie. Uh, been an absolute blessing having her in our lives so peace out till the next one cheers <laughs>